What it do, Cosmic Crew? Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, I got another video for you. Okay. So this was by request. Um. If you're unfamiliar, just a brief overview. Lucas was, um, you know, a social media influencer and a um, artist in his own right. Okay. As the story has been told, they call it self-afflicted well basically he's um unalive unalived himself um he is basically attached i would guess you would say with his um girlfriend amber who apparently was recently trying to separate from him and really just focus on herself now from what she's saying you know he took that kind of hard um was speaking about hurting her ending her life things of that nature and um kind of got a last laugh by um taking himself out is how she she kind of describes it now, I definitely know it's, it's definitely capable of people to be that petty. I'm not familiar with these people. Um, I don't know any of his music. I never watched any of their videos. That's the only one I've seen where she, it was a clip where she was kind of talking about it. And um, it's from her own perspective. And you know, everybody's feelings are valid. But we're just going to see energetically, like, what's tea in the energy, respectfully, of course. Um, now, based on the information I see, I believe he's a cancer. Correct me if I'm wrong, which I will. <laughs> I believe he's a cancer. And she is a Scorpio. And um, he's from France. Like, he's French. Very handsome young guy. Now, just from what I, I sense, just from looking at him, he looks bisexual. So, I, I don't know. You know, which is fine, whatever. That. <laughs> a lot of times when you see people, and it's like, why are they still together? It's because they know too much about each other. I keep getting paid hit as I'm shuffling. I keep seeing paid hit. So there may have been something about um, some money that was put on his head or someone who wanted him taken out. Okay. All right. Let's just see what we pick up on here. So we got swingers. I don't know if this was an open relationship. You know, young young people definitely giving on again, off again. But there's something here about dating other people or sleeping with other people together. It's in reverse. So maybe this was something that one of them didn't want to do. Something here about sexual escapade. So I do have suicidal that's come out. Okay. 
There definitely was a suicidal energy here. I got brother husband. Private investigator. Something about um the proud family. So there's like a Maybe somebody had an image of a family that they wanted to portray. Something about a nursing home. Maybe somebody's elderly parent was in the nursing home or was sick or something of that nature. But it's like, I, I, there may be some truth to what she was saying, but it feels like it was based on whatever he found out that she was doing behind his back. Because I got brother husband. So that's a woman who's dating a lot of men. Now, this could have just been his own insecurities and what he felt she was doing. But with this private investigator here, I feel like he may have really been spying on her. Or having her watched and monitored and kind of, you know, in her business, hacking her shit. And I, I definitely get a sense that he would threaten to hurt himself. As a means of emotionally manipulating the situation. But this seems like. And she had a lot of niggas. Something here about trans. So somebody um may have been transsexual. In transition. Okay. Once again, these sexual escapades. What is going on here? There is something about a big family. Like you got the, the grandma, grandpa, mom and dad, all the kids. Either under the same roof or like really close-knit family. Okay. But somebody was homeless. So somebody may have been outcasted from this family. Ostracized from this family. The black sheep kind of energy. I don't know why it feels like this was a choice. I don't know if either one of their families didn't like them being together. Here we go. Mufasa. There's something about someone's father here. A, a, a father figure. I was very um, pivotal. Pivotal? Pivotal. Something about pivoting. Moving out of the way. I don't know what his father does or did. I don't know if he was um, expecting to be the heir to that, whatever industry or expertise that his father has, if he was supposed to take over that and was ostracized from the family. We got a coven. Okay, so there's something here about a, a group of spiritualists. Somebody here may, may have been doing death magic on him, causing these suicidal thoughts. Really making him feel like he was in despair. Definitely a woe is me energy. Yeah, there's a coven involved here. Yeah, there's a... We got Geek Squad. So there's like a group of people. They're highly intelligent. They may be um, into coding. Like I said, hacking. Um, really into technology. There's something about... Somebody may have worked um, for a phone company or knows about um, phone lines, hacking phones, cracking cracking into systems it's something about VPNs and, and IPs and passwords and um, 
programming. I don't know why I felt like he was being taunted by like people that were hacking him. This feels like it, it's coming from the industry as well. So he definitely may have been gang stalked. We got Gangsta's Paradise. Yeah. This is like people subconsciously implanting these thoughts into his mind that he's gonna die. This feels like a psychic attack. We got Laverne and Shirley. Okay, so there's some people of the same gender that were very close. These are best friends here, but they also may have been dating. There's like, like I said, besties. They do everything together. They might dress alike. Somebody also may have been offered a TV show. Or some type of syndicated something. Some about a certification. Is he here legally? Or this is something about something about a green card? Somebody may have been threatening deportation or something like that. We got certification. I don't know, somebody may not have gotten their diploma. Also, this could have been some type of trade certified in something or needing some type of credentials to achieve something. Lacking credentials here. Something in the medical field. Yeah, so somebody may have been trying to get some type of license in the medical field. We got sign language. Someone may have been deaf. Or some type of secret language that someone speaks. Some type of secret. Um, kind of like pig Latin. That's what that's giving me. Like pig Latin. Like it's something like that. Also, like I said, somebody may also just speak sign language. Also, there may be some forged documents. Maybe somebody got a, they, somebody has fake credentials. They're not really certified. I don't know why I'm seeing that lady that was um on the news. <laughs> The lady was on the news. It's supposed to be doing sign language, but she was just making that shit up. Like that. <laughs> she was just making that shit up. Like she was not actually speaking American sign language at all with her hands. Like she was really just <laughs> just doing some shit. So I don't know what the fuck that has to do with anything. Nine to five, okay? There's so something about a job here, a career, a trade. Maybe somebody is a nurse. They're a nurse practitioner. They're, you know, somebody, like I said, works in the medical field. It's going to be dentistry. Or somebody was going to school for this. Or somebody has fake credentials in this. Also could have been a therapist. Maybe he, he thought he was seeing somebody who was a licensed therapist and they, they weren't. 
Like, it's like everything that was around him was was set up. He was definitely being handled by the industry. We got somebody's side piece. So like I said from the very beginning, there's something here about an open relationship. I feel like they were both openly dating other people. They may have been bringing other people into their relationship. There's something about trans men or women involved here. Somebody had a side piece, a mistress, brother, husband. I keep hearing that Laverne and Shirley. We're gonna make our dreams come true. Doing it all way. All and all. Making our dreams come true. I feel like, like I said, I, 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 now I got this Rasputia card. So there's definitely a woman in this energy that's our man, but particularly a feminine energy that's very bossy very um just me i used to put someone down destroy someone's um self-esteem lying maybe somebody lied about being pregnant <laughs> no but please i'm a child <laughs> Like that, like somebody, it's just some, there may have been some animal cruelty involved here. Like somebody is never wrong, okay? It's like you got to walk on eggshells around them. And they have like siblings that back up everything they say. Or like support them in everything they do. Is somebody... <sighs> Mm. What's going on here? What do we need to know? Rupert. Rituals. I'm telling you, there's rituals being done. This is some ritualistic, psychic, spiritual attacks being done by some type of coven. We got you remind me. So there's something about dating someone or meeting someone that reminds you of your ex. And that's why you can't be together. May have been the Libra involved. Thing that makes me change my mind. So it was like, yeah, you meet somebody and they, it's like they give you red flags because their, their energy is so much like the last person you were with. And they may even kind of look alike. We got a 600 pound life. So somebody may have lost a lot of weight. I was trying to. It came in reverse. So somebody either. There may be somebody here. Who is very heavy. To the point where it's like debilitating. Or someone's lo lost a lot of weight. Or maybe even kind of like to watch those shows. Like on TLC. I don't know if, if he was kind of into that. Because I'm seeing those sisters. how they you know they they lost weight but i feel like because there was something about one of them lying are them lying about one of them being dead to like raise money or some shit we got vampires We got emotional incest, okay? 
So there's somebody here who's like in love with their family member. I don't want them with nobody, anybody else. Cause like, like they got some sick obsession with them. Yeah, somebody's leeching off someone's energy. This is somebody, um, somebody may have an old soul as well. An old soul and a young face. They may actually be like blood sucking here. Like actual literal blood sucking. Something about communion. You got ashtray. Was somebody burnt with a cigarette? But this is ash. Like this is ashtray. Like this. This is a duck ass nigga. This is a nigga that you could. Like he'll do any. This is a simp. This is a simp ass nigga. It's like this is a nigga. Everybody warned this nigga. Don't be with this girl. She done fucked everybody. And she da 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 da. And he, like he just so in love. Something about somebody's birthday? Or something about a birthday? Yeah, I feel like, I don't know if somebody got burnt with a cigarette or, like, a blunt or something. You remind me of a girl. We got vehicle. So somebody may have gotten a vehicle or purchased a vehicle for their birthday. There's something about a vehicle. Somebody may have fake driver's license. Or no license at all. Catfish. Physical fitness. Somebody here was catfished by someone who is a lot heavier than the pictures that they showed. What do we need to know about your transition? Blind date. There's somebody he met up with. There's something he was he was set up with somebody. And this person was a catfish. Airbnb. So maybe they're supposed to meet up. Or like go off, travel somewhere. There was a physical altercation. So some he may have met up with somebody and they were trans, okay? Yeah, there's something about a fight here or trying to prevent a fight. I feel like he got into a fight before he, he passed. There's something about a physical altercation here. Nip tuck. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I feel like there may have been a trans woman that, you know, still has a penis. With this tuck here, somebody was tucking their penis. You got widow. Did they have like a fake marriage? Something here about a widow? So I don't know if Amber had anything to do with setting him up with this person. We got a chemical imbalance. So yeah, somebody's really not wrapped too tight. They're very thrown off psychologically, mentally, emotionally, and under spiritual attack. I'm here, I'm gonna get you, sucker. Chain smoker, jungle fever. This had a lot to do. Like I like I was saying, I don't know if 
whose family didn't approve of them, but it had a lot to do with the difference in their nationality. Somebody here was trying to stop smoking or somebody may have been hiding that they were still smoking. Somebody smokes back to back. Either always, always rolling up or always lighting up. We got Beyonce. I don't know they were talking about getting married. So maybe he was talking to somebody online and he met up with this person and they ended up not to be who they presented themselves to be in the pictures. Like literally a catfish. And then when you go to meet them, there's somebody different and then you maybe you get into a fight. It's something about sex magic here. Forever my lady. So somebody was doing sex magic to have him obsessed with them. I'm telling you, somebody was lying about having a baby. Or a baby. Or being pregnant. So you're having my baby. And it means so much to me. Whole time they're not pregnant. There's nothing more precious than to raise a family. For a cancer, that's very important. Forever, my lady. <laughs> I'm holding you close. I'm keeping you warm. This is ecstasy. Performing arts, okay. Forever, my lady. <laughs> so I definitely feel like uh, this has something to do with his music career. I feel like this girl was sent to kind of handle him. He was having sex magic being done on him. Not saying that he's innocent. I don't know the story. But um, whatever led up to his demise, I do feel like there were suicidal thoughts that he was having. And it was definitely based on some type of psychic attack. Did you unalive yourself? Money and honey. But this has to do with somebody that he was working with, making money with, and having sex with. That's who's involved in his death. Mixing business and pleasure. We got a star seed. Okay. There's somebody here who's definitely very gifted. very different as well we got loyalty in reverse okay so betrayal sabotage deception distrust did you unalive yourself is that story true We got sister wives in reverse. So I don't know why I feel like there's some... It's always some... It's like a whole coven. There's a whole group of women that helped, like, literally set him up. Like, had... Had a bitch writing him, acting like they go... They want to be with him. He falling in love with this bitch, but it's, it's but in, the, in the back of his mind, la, 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 in the back of his mind, it's like, damn, you kind of remind me of my old girl, like, yeah, cause she she the one telling the girl what to say. They all working together. 
pawn. Yeah, somebody was being used as a pawn in this shit. Or he was a pawn in somebody's sick game. Somebody also may have been pawning things just to make money. Ghost Whisperer? Yeah, somebody was very um, spiritually gifted, spiritually inclined. And somebody was seeing spirits, seeing the dead, the walking dead. There's some weird shit here. I keep getting energy of incest, okay? I, I, uh, What was the cause of death? Look, it literally says Bruja. Witches. Witches are the cause of his death. I'm hearing dark, demented, demonic witches. Brujaria. Literally. Carmen San Diego. So there's somebody who may have gone missing. Are they like kind of off the grid or not really showing themselves? Or they pop up here and there. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? We got um athletic field. So there may be somebody involved here that's in in the an athlete or has a very um slim physique or athletic build. Somebody may be in the gym a lot. Something about crowd surfing, channel surfing, jewelry. So I don't know if somebody was pawn is pawning his jewelry. Or he was trying to get some jewelry back. Yeah, something about Beyonce. He may have gave somebody a ring. He wanted his ring back. Some about some gang activity or something runs like a mob, like a mafia. Somebody's very, there's a very close knit energy like that. Anything else? Somebody may do some type of catering, some type of um, delivery, or drive some type of trucks. somebody here who gets the impression that they're, they're a very hard worker they want to achieve all these goals they're very ambitious that's not the truth somebody here i feel like they're very lazy they're very um manipulative they're very cold-hearted somebody like um uses everyone around them for their own personal gain There's something about their father. Like somebody may have a really weird connection with their dad. Like gross. Somebody is a fucking jerk. They're an asshole. I feel like, you know, he is. Like, <laughs> he knows he's mean. He's, he's arrogant, conceited, kind of vicious and vile. Something about jerk, jerking off. Somebody may have been jerking off. Fuck buddies. This has a... Uh, I, I don't know. There's something about videos. I don't know. There's like a, a hidden OnlyFans. 
and somebody may have some they may be on Pornhub and like have masks on their faces you don't even know it's them just to make money something about weapons so who shot you Skeletons in the closet. Fellatio. Somebody. Somebody that was hidden. This is somebody who's hiding. And behind the scenes. Like I said, this this could be somebody of the same gender or somebody who's trans. That was giving him head. We got fellatio. There's something about oral sex. I don't know, somebody came up behind him, they got into a fight, and they popped him. Once the skeleton came out the closet, that he found out that they weren't. Um, uh, but the whole time, it feels like it was set up by some other people to try to get some blackmail on him. Like, to use this as, like, a humiliation thing. It's a succubi energy. Suck you by, suck you dry. And somebody, they get some good sloppy toppy like. I think, uh, yeah. One more, okay. Online dating. It literally says online dating. I'm hearing something about Tinder. Hinge, what is it? Bumble, something, something about, uh, this is, I'm telling you, this is somebody he met online that's involved in, in this but they were sent to him they were it's like sick them they were sent to humiliate him to get, to get some kind of blackmail on him I feel like it was a physical altercation that turned into a murder and ended up being described as suicide or after this transpired, this being too embarrassed about it, or knowing that you know somebody was going to use this as extortion to to destroy to fame his character. But I feel like he somebody got outed and. He may have turned a gun on them and they ended up um, shooting him. And now they want to make it look like he just killed himself. What's that say? It's something about nanotechnology. I told you there's something yeah it's something it's like tracking devices monitoring devices hacking coding like all this shit there's a whole geek squad there's people that's really good with technology involved in this and then you got a whole group of um spiritual people involved in this you got a whole family involved that's somebody who's ostracized from their family You got a family like I don't know they they be sleeping with each other. Some weird shit going on. So yeah, we're going to leave that right there. Okay? <sighs> Let me get my Florida water job. Ooh. All right. Okay, until next time.